impact of the FDA on your supply chain? Well, here to speak with us about that today is Michael Wolwind, Vice President, SAP Americas. Michael, welcome. Thank you, Russell. Michael, when you look at your client base and look at their supply chains, what would you say are the key issues and trends that they are facing and are having to deal with, quite frankly? It's interesting. Um, each of our customers are in a different vertical. For an example, some of our customers are in the food industry. There's a Food Safety Modernization Act that's actually impacting a lot of our customers today. Those that are in the life sciences are dealing with FDA and serialization, as well as uh, a lot of our chemical customers and other industries are starting to see the same mandates about global uh, batch track and trace and uh, capabilities. I wanted to ask you about the FDA Modernization Act, and if you would, walk us through just what it's all about, what it uh, purports to achieve, what it purports to protect, and of course then the impact that that's got for your clients and what they have to do to be able to accord with, its, uh, with, uh, with what it says. Yeah, so I mean, obviously the FDA and, and food safety has always been an issue, but given the uh, recent uh, global impacts, it's, it's become a, a little bit more sensitive. So what's happened with this Food Safety Modernization Act is they've actually increased a written procedure to have preventative measures. Number two is they actually want more frequent updates and a greater access to data. And then number three is it used to be that the FDA would reach out to the manufacturing company or the customer and they would actually ask for a voluntary recall. Not the case. The FDA can actually come in now and mandate a recall. So that's forcing a lot of customers of SAP to figure out exactly how they're going to have the right process and systems in place to address that. And then the fourth one is specific to the produce and vegetable industry, and they're actually having lot traceability from the grower through the whole supply chain to the actual retailer to be able to do these recalls. So if you think about this Food Safety Modernization Act, it's always been there, but the access to additional data and the ability to do a very focused FDA-mandated recall is making a lot of the food companies out there very nervous about their supply chain. You know, you talk about uh, food companies. I wonder if you can identify by name some of those that you are working with. And then I'd like to ask you about the impact that this legislation is having on those clients of yours. Absolutely. So SAP Today is working with the likes of uh, Hershey's, uh, Nestle's, um, Kraft Foods, as well as uh, Colgate Palmolive and McCormick. And what we're doing right now is we're actually implementing a global um, batch traceability program that's allowing them to take a look at all the raw material components that are actually uh, consumed, manufactured, and distributed, and being able to track that through the entire supply chain. Now what's interesting is they started embarking upon this process in a uh, regulatory manner to be able to be in compliance, but what they're starting to find out is that the amount of data that is required and the fact that they're able to capture this data, it's actually a benefit. So now they're able to take this data and they're being able to look at their entire supply chain and not only being able to provide the FDA recall, but they're able to do some specific measurements along the way to be able to do that and think about it from a different perspective. So let me give you an, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Please do, because uh, if I understand you correctly, they are having to uh, gather a huge amount of data by dint of this new legislation here, but they are taking this data now that they've got it, and they are utilizing it in some manner that's going to make them, that's going to optimize their operations perhaps. I don't know, is that what we're saying? Um, I don't know if it's going to uh, maximize their operation within the four walls, but it's definitely going to impact their global supply chain, not only from a visibility perspective, but a brand awareness and a security perspective. So let me give you two examples. Please. Number one is there's an organization called EPCIS. It is literally a real-time analysis of a system and it can do cross-system queries to give one single version of the truth. So in the pharmaceutical industry, when there's you know product tampering or gray markets, the fact that they will have a complete 
step process through the supply chain, being able to provide a consumer from a mobile device the ability to access the information and validate that this product is safe, that there is no recalls. Not only that, but the actual manufacturers now are thinking about it. Hey, I've got a consumer portal. I've got customers out there. They can look up nutritional advice. If they are taking a drug or eating something, well, is it is it have any gluten in it? Is it have any uh, alfalfa in it? I might be allergic to that. Or maybe they are, the consumer is actually um, taking the medicine and having adverse effects. So they can actually provide information back to the manufacturer to let them know about it. And then the last one, believe it or not, is today we are a very socially economical, very uh, responsible um, organization, company, world. So if I'm at the, at the retail store and I can choose between one of these two products, I might want to know what the actual sustainability index is. And if one of these two companies has a better uh, carbon footprint or use of water or natural resources, I might choose to purchase that product over another one. So the fact that they're going to have this infrastructure out there, they have the traceability along the way, they've got the ability to have a networked environment, and given everybody today has mobile devices and the ability to tap into that, is going to actually provide a, a different consumer experience. And our, uh, our, our partners right now today with all these global manufacturing initiatives and the global batch traceability, thinking about that data in a different perspective to be more consumer and customer service oriented. So it's a very interesting proposition. Well, it's interesting that there's a benefit that uh, perhaps was unintended there. You know, at the top of the interview, we talked about uh, a number of your of your customers. Not all of them are in the food industry. I mean, for instance, um, I know that, well, of course, we're speaking to each other here at the annual work conference, and I know this morning one of your clients, the healthcare division of Kimberly Clark had a presentation on an SAP EMW case study. Now, I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Can you give us any highlights on what that was about and your relationship with uh, Kimberly Clark? Absolutely. So Kimberly Clark Healthcare has grown uh, seven times in the last three years. And uh, what's interesting is they've expanded 12 contract manufacturing sites, nine distribution centers, and they've been growing through acquisition. Well, they've acquired some companies that are class two manufacturers. So as a class two manufacturer, you have to have that global batch traceability. And due to the fact that that's one of their major initiatives, they looked at SAP as one of their partners, and they're actually doing the implementation so they can have the traceability on the class two items. Now, when you look at it, um, I had the opportunity to speak with Stephen from Kimberly Clark as he spoke here this morning. I said, Stephen, so how's the FDA impacting your business? He goes, Michael, they used to come and visit us once a year. Now they're coming four times a year. Not only that, but the amount of data and how frequently they want to access that data has been a huge impact to our business. And that's one of the reasons that they're driving to do an EWM implementation. So they have all the readily information available to them real time, and that way they can present it to the FDA. So this project is uh, going to go live in August. They've got less than a 24-month return on investment, and it's a seamless integration back to their SAP host system. But if you look at it, the real business driver was the fact that they needed to have global batch traceability for class two. Who knows, maybe they're going to acquire another company that requires class one. Or what is the future, right? How many more mandates are going to come from the FDA? Specifically in the pharmaceutical environment, they get the, you know, serialization and your, you know, lot track and trace capabilities as well. So as maybe they expand their footprints and looking at the next level, they want to make sure that they made the right investment in their infrastructure to not only support the supply chain necessities today, but also future mandates that might come tomorrow. What an inter interesting question to ponder. What does the future hold? Michael, I want to thank you so much for taking time in your busy day to meet with us. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. It's Michael Wolwind, SAP Americas. And he's speaking with us today about the impact of the FDA on your supply chain. Thanks for watching.